Hi there, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name's Chev and I'm a cocktail expert and today I'm going to be making a Long Island iced tea. Let's face it, it's a drink that gets a bit of a bad rep. It's a little bit cheesy, some people think it's a bit naff. I'm sure at one point you've had one and gone blah, but that's because you've not had one that's been made properly. So today I'm going to make a version that you're going to love and show you how to make it quite simply. Now this is an old school favourite. It doesn't actually contain tea, but it does contain a light rum, a light tequila, a light gin and a vodka. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with using Bacardi Carta Blanca, which is a light Spanish style rum. And this is going to work perfectly because it's quite floral, it's got molasses hints and vanilla undertones. And we're going to use 15 mils. Next, we're going to add Casadores Blanco, which is a light Highland tequila. It's going to complement the floral notes of the Bacardi, but also add some complexity and some vegetal notes that a tequila would offer. So again, 15 mils and Bombay Sapphire. Now Bombay Sapphire has got so many different botanicals but it's still quite light and accessible and it's floral too, so 15 mils. And now we're gonna add some Grey Goose Vodka which is a smooth, clean vodka to the mix. 15 mils. Now there's so many different variations of this drink but like most cocktails I like to keep it simple so if you notice I've got equal measures of all of them. So to the mix, I'm going to add an orange liqueur, and that's just to add some sweetness, but also some fruity, fragrant notes. And 15 mils again. And then we're adding some lemon juice. Now, lemon juice is quite key to this recipe because it's going to bind all the spirits together, but it's going to add a nice brightness and cleanness as well. So 25 mils. And then we're going to shake. So plenty of ice because I want to get it nice and cold and I really want to dilute all these spirits so give it a shake so shaker is really cold it's ready to go it smells amazing and I'm just going to decant this from the ice so it doesn't over melt we're using a sling glass it's tall it's slender it works great in the Long Island and we're going to top it with ice. Now to this we're going to add some cola, not too much, you know we're making an old school drink, why don't we use an old school method? So I'm going to layer this drink. The best way to layer it is to use a spoon, if you don't have a bar spoon you can use a regular teaspoon and kind of tip it to the, the edge of where the spirit is and as simple as so top ice and then to garnish in true iced tea style we're going to add a nice big wedge of lemon doesn't that look pretty amazing it's long it's refreshing it's complex because of all the spirits but it's still quite light and bright because of the citrus so there you have it, the Long Island iced tea. Give it a try. And if you want to see another cocktail with just as many ingredients but equally delicious, click up here to watch Jamie make the Singapore sling. It's amazing. Cheers. Cheers.